So welcome to the very first Brightcast Mini, the Mini Brightcast. And today we've got Joe. Hello. Who better to have on the first Mini than Joe? A... I don't think there's anyone better. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, a... Was it, was, it, was it wordplay? Because I'm a miniature person. Good. No, yeah, I thought that's was. what you were doing. Yeah, no, no, yeah, if that wasn't, yeah, no, was. I can't say <laughs> I'll it. I'll take credit from that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're, we're joking when we're not joking. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Joe, you're our uh, one of our chief editors here. You cut things, make people look better than they should look. Not a lot of work to do with us guys, right? Oh, Usually. I mean, that, that was man. so bad, what, it's what not I getting like. used. <laughs> what I like is you... Uh, you slipped up, so you could re-edit that. I'm going to make it sound amazing. <laughs> Joe's behind the cameras and the audio recording of all run, of our run, podcasts. Runs around, hit and, hit and records. And also Checking edits them. Batteries. Make sure we make sure he cuts out all of the things that it sounds. And that I, I'm I'm saying it now. Stop giving me work, <laughs> Jess. Yeah. And he cuts out all the things that we sound stupid. Are you, are you guys? Do you do this so Joe gets overtime? Is it all just like, just, just, keep, the money moving, just keep the money moving? <laughs> I've been on night shifts for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I thought for the first mini, we would talk about homepage videos in general, but we've been working on ours. Um, and, you know, they're, they're quite, they can be quite difficult. They're quite a nuanced sort of thing to get through. It is quite broad, isn't it? The, what, what, you would go for depending on who you are. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's com communicate that service and that message, that USP that you should have to position yourself a little different. I'd, I'd say with us, because we're vi very visual and we do a lot of video work, we have a bit of extra pressure that we need to we need to make it look very edited, but at the same time, it's still serving that purpose. So. We need to make sure the marketing message is on yeah, point yeah. and doesn't hmm. get lost in there. Oh, right. there's loads to think about. There's loads to think about. Um, and then one of the many challenges is making that 60 seconds long. Yeah. At the heart of it, for anyone, it is that messaging that will run through the whole video. So for us, we had some nice little pop-out text. Or even if it hasn't got text within it, it's kind of the story you want to tell. The narrative, yeah. Yeah, what you want people to walk away from that video feeling or thinking or yeah. where you want them to go next. Like, it's it's looking at the aims and what that video needs to achieve. So for us, it's to show them our work, show us how great we are, but then also leave them wanting to see more wanting them to go onto our case study, wanting them to find out more about who Bright are and what we do. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I, I, I'm guessing because it's a, a, a universal thing, really, but I'm guessing the process starts with that structure. Do you do, you do that before you start cutting anything? Yeah, I, it's important, isn't it? It's, it's good to have that little routine. But with some things, I think with our homepage video, we did think about it a bit differently. Yeah. As, as a team, as a collective, because we all brought ideas to the table, how we want to, I guess, talk about ourselves. But finding that narrative, uh, which we did with copy, yeah, and and sticking, sticking to yeah. it. Yeah. We started our video with no footage, yeah. no visuals. It was black frames. White text. With white text, yeah. not even putting our font on there. Like just the words and the pace we wanted it to be at. So it was message then structure and even even before any footage is brought in it's then pace as well yeah so yeah, it, yeah. It, it was music. driven by m music yeah like a, f a few sort of iterations of different music um we found one we liked and and, and yeah. yeah like you say just black background white text yeah right do we like this and and from an editor's point of view do you just feel that out do you look at you know music set to a rhythm do you look at the rhythm and where you know a natural break might be or? yeah I, th I, th I think so but also creating breaks so if if, yeah. if you're listening you've got to think about how long it, it is going to be what you're trying to say um so i think that the track that we use there are we pull out and you know yeah. we cut to audio from a video or yeah. we have little gags or we we move it along quicker. yeah so on the homepage video, you use music quite creatively with those pull-out moments to really, I guess, emphasise a point. 
almost. Yeah. So it's a wow moment. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then you bring it back. You, you know, you might skip a minute. You might just chop a minute out. Like, right, we don't need any of that. There's a yeah. bridge or it like gets a bit quiet. Let's come back at that massive, that big sort of drop or chorus. Yeah. Or I think personality, is, it comes into a lot of things. Like it's the brand, it's the type of like like you say, personality, it's the type of values, tone of voice culture. you've got, the culture yeah. you've got, the yeah, yeah, the values. All of those things build your brand's personality. So you're all like you you create this persona type thing of your brand yeah. of who that is to other people. And it needs to come through in everything you do. Hmm. it's one of the things that branding in our homepage video was such a key part for us. Like everything is brightified. Was it a conscious choice? word. Yeah. <laughs> Was it a conscious choice to have quite a lot of work that we've done for for clients, but also our brand stuff? Was that something that was there from the start, or something that sort of crept in? I'd say it evolved. Yeah. Um, as we as we started doing more of that, and sort of yeah. we became self aware of that, uh, we wanted to just put so much more. Yeah. And we did. We, we put so much yeah. into it. We, we only really do it when we pull out to do the messaging parts, right? So we're not confusing it that it's our, yeah. our work is client yeah, work. Yeah, 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 yeah. So a, a lot of people have different services. Um, and, and we're like a lot of people. We have different services. How, how did we find a, a balance of that? Once we had everything down and we could what we, you know, it wasn't white text on a black background. Yeah, so yeah. Once we had something to watch and go through... It was, uh, we just had that back and forth. We, I think we did a lot of that. We deconstructed it and thought, okay, well, thinking about maybe this sort of section, yeah. we could use that later on in the video. So that frees up a gap here. And it's just like, what What are those puzzles where you're trying to, yeah. like, you, you've got like a, the, a yeah, little all space. All the pieces there and you just slide them around. You're yeah, trying yeah. to, yeah. We knew p which pieces, I guess, went in there because we had that structure built in. Mm -hmm. um, was there any consideration... For runtime, Jess, what sort of runtimes do you like to see on other? You you do a lot of, I guess, market research with marketing stuff. What kind of homepage video runtimes do you tend to enjoy? Per, so personally, in terms of market research, around sixty seconds is probably that sweet spot. But yeah. at the same time, we came at it like Joe says from a different approach, where we looked at the messaging first, and the runtime kind of like slotted into place with that. Yeah. So yeah, we sort of yeah. got our messaging nailed first. We got all the copy we wanted to put in there. Like we said, we had the black um, background with white text. We got the, the pace of it right. And then I think we sort of got that to about 45 seconds. And that's where that number came from in my head. And then we sort of started to put content in it. Expand. I guess make room and for the yeah. jokes where we cut the music and pass yeah. it out. Yeah, and it was it. kind of that, that jigsaw that Joe was saying. It was kind of making room for that more content. Yeah. And it was never a point of, oh, we need it to be 60 seconds. We like, that's the point we want to get it to. It was a point of what content do we need in this? It's a feel. You mentioned yeah. feel earlier. I guess with just services that perhaps take a little more explaining. I'm thinking specifically of like healthcare companies where it's a bit more, not a short film, but a bit more narrative and emotive driven or a different kind of emotion it just lets it play a little longer i think as long as you've got your service. storytelling nailed yeah like i think the length doesn't particularly like i don't want to say matter but it matters less yeah and it's a b c d right yeah yeah what was it again it was attention branding connection and direction, direction so yeah. it's obviously capturing their attention having a branding at the forefront having con connecting with your audience so like addressing their pain points like there must be a reason why you're marketing yeah, to them yeah. and mm -hmm. then giving them a direction so that might be like we're saying in in the way of a cta or it might be leaving them wanting more a direction for them to go at the end of it like a yeah. clear, yeah, clear yeah, yeah, end yeah. point Th think about the objectives of your homepage video so in that circumstance what do you want them to know that you want them to know they're in the right place so you do the service that they mm -hmm. want yeah um uh, there's an assurance of quality and trust straight away. Like yeah. we're looking for video. This is a video and it looks amazing. Yeah. So I want to go with those. And then it's just, uh, yeah, basically what next? And well, that, it's like, that's it. Because if, if, if like you're saying, Jess, if it's me, I've got 20 tabs open. Yeah. I'm just going through them. Yeah. If it doesn't, yeah. if it doesn't stack up, you're just like, okay, no, like the yeah. one I watched 
five minutes ago, that was way better. Okay, it's a process of elimination. Yeah. And um, if if you don't stand out and you, you don't do it well and you don't do it quickly, yeah. Um, you, you're gonna just sort I, of someone's gonna close that tab. Yeah, yeah. People need to invest money or time in getting it right because yeah, you know, I, I it's do, important. I, I do write a lot of copy for us and for clients, but I often say words don't matter. And what I mean is. It, you know, it's it's milliseconds you've got to make an impression. And if you do it right with a good good site, good homepage video, and it can be good copy and titles, but but yeah. that glance, you've done so much of the heavy lifting straight oh, away. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. honestly think, and I'm not just saying this, the first 10 seconds of our show reel are probably my favorite 10 seconds. Of are you a bit reel. biased? Like, well, and the, but, but th- it, that's where I'm guessing you put most of the work almost to get the, yeah. that opening right. I guess that's the hardest bit to crack. You, yeah, and, and you want to do that w- once you've got that. I remember a saying on, were we on Zoom? And uh, it, it was those two days where it was, w- was it like 40 degrees, oh, the yeah. first heat wave? So we were working from home, you know, uh, from the not comfort of our own home. Yeah. And yeah, we, we got it. We were like, um, okay. From six seconds onwards, let's think about, you know, where it's going. Yeah. But love it. So to summarise, and I'm coming to you, Joe, what would be the number one tip or couple, if you've got them, you'd give to a company looking to create a homepage video? I don't know if it's a couple, and I hope it's helpful, and I will elaborate, but it's do and don't overthink it. Okay. okay. Take it seriously. It has to be perfect, like we've said. But um, to to get to that stage, just just start just start laying it down. Yeah. Um, overthink it in the sense, like we've talked about, we we did text and music. Yeah. Um, and we built on that. Get the foundations right and build them on top of it. I think I'd say. Yeah, I agree and with that. You would. I'm not going to stamp on yours because you might come from a messaging point of view but i would say think about think about the customer like how did they get there why are they there and where do you want them to go to yeah. think about that customer journey and the purpose of that homepage video yeah um my tip it 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 leans into what you've just said rob but it is getting that messaging like nailed and it is not overthinking it in terms of get some copy down like pace it out like don't even think about the content like we did like don't even think about what imagery you're putting in there what you've got to film what what Mm -hmm. extra bits you want in there just get some text in there maybe even pick a track if you think you're gonna like some you can't improve on nothing yeah Yeah. exactly exactly you need to start because i think that's one thing like we learn as a brand like we we redid a lot like we started improved carried on improving Mm -hmm. we're still improving on things but like you just said, yeah, you can't, if you start at zero, you're never going to move forward. And, and if you're taking it to uh, an agency to do for you, have these things, because it's a collaborative process and all of these early decisions, like the yeah. messaging, they, they, you know, a skilled agency will be able to probe you for them. But, you know, as, as if you're a skilled person who understands your brand and your service, you'll have them ready. Just just yeah. get them yeah. ready. Do, do this work up front. Yeah. So so you know what you're trying to do with the video. Nail that persona. So what what pain points are you trying to solve with yeah, this? Like sure what are you trying to aim for? What do you want that persona to walk away with? Where do you want them to go next? Yeah. Agreed. And then Joe, I guess just don't stop till it looks shit hot. That is it. As uh, Michael Jackson once said. <laughs> Did he? Be careful when the monsters do Don't stop team look shit hot. <laughs> <laughs> Prim did not like and that one. Lawyers of Michael <laughs> Jackson. My name is Drew Taylor Davis. <laughs> Great. Thanks for joining us, Jay. Thank you for having me on this side of the cameras. It, it's great to have you here to take our virginity of Brightcast Minis. Of course. I um I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you.